Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Automate with Rakesh and please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with UiPath. In this video, we are going to loop through the rows and columns of an Excel file in UiPath Studio and after looping through the data, it should, you know, while it's looping through the data, it should enter these values, for example, 100 should be entered here and then 256 should be entered in the second one and hit on accept. Similar way it should enter the next value in the next loop. It should enter 200 and then it should enter 152 here in the honest check and hit on accept. So this is the use case. So let, let me run the workflow which I have created and then we are going to see how this one is functioning and we will learn how to design that. Okay, you will be very happy to design this specific automation. So I have started the execution let's have a check okay so the application has opened let me just drag to the left this is doing its job so fast I'm not able to drag it ah okay so you can see it is entering the values right it's entering the values and hitting on accept okay so it is entering all the values that are there in the excel file so it has done its job so how to design this, how it can enter, you know, these values into the application. Let's learn. Okay. I'm going to delete everything that I've designed and I'm going to start from the very beginning. Now for this, you need two different things. One is this application. Okay. This application exe file, I am going to provide in the description. I'm going to provide a link. And once you go to the link, you will find something called any tailor demo. And also there'll be my CRM demo. All you do is just download the any tailor demo. So this is a exe file. So once you click on this exe file, this application will open. While uh, clicking on this, you many people might get a prompt uh, asking them to install the .NET framework. So please go ahead and install that because the .NET framework is required for the any tailor application to work. Okay, so that's this is one requirement. The other requirement is that Excel file. So this is a simple Excel file. You can design this Excel file. Pretty simple. Create two columns, cash one, cash two. And type in some numbers for example you can type some numbers like uh, let's say 100 and then uh, 280 rupees something like that so once you type these values do not have a dollar symbol right if you see all these values do not have a dollar symbol so how do I get the dollar symbol highlight all the values once you enter highlight the entire cells for example like this and right click on it and hit on format cells and then hit on currency and hit on ok just by doing that, you see the numbers has been modified as per the currency. Okay, that's all you need to do. So once both the things are ready, we are good to start the UiPath Studio workflow to loop through the rows and columns of an Excel file. So let's see how to do that. Now, because this is an Excel uh, automation, all I have to do is simply type Excel. Okay, and here you will find lot many activities. The very first activity you should drag and drop is Excel process scope. Okay. And inside this Excel process scope, you should drag the next activity use Excel file. Okay. These are the very important steps. Excel process scope within that I should drag and drop the use Excel file. Okay. And then let's point out to the file where it is available. It is there in my documents. Automate with Rakesh. This is the file name I have pointed out done after that nothing to do then in the do section of this i am going to drag and drop another activity to loop through the data so here is the activity for each excel row drag and drop this for each excel row okay let me show you the properties uh, let me pin this okay all right now for for each excel row activity there are two things very important first thing it is asking in your excel file which is the range where the data is there all you do hit on this plus sign hit on the excel and hit on indicate in excel okay and once you do this you should be able to find the ribbon on the top here you can see ui path ribbon is there and here automatically it should come if it is not coming try to restart your excel file so first thing i should do is select the range if you want to work on the entire excel file you can select like this if not you want to specify specify like this and hit on confirm okay so with that our for each excel row is properly confirmed and one more thing uh, very important to understand 
how this for each excel row activity will work on ui on ui path studio so how this one is works there is a variable called current row so in the excel file first because it has a header it has a header so what you do first enable the header okay it has headers you have to enable this this is very very important otherwise your excel automation may fail so ensure you check this has headers okay so that will ignore the header it will start from here so the loop will start like this first one second one third one like this it will continue as many rows that you have okay now while it continues like this what would happen the current row variable right the current row variable is going to hold the values of number of columns it is there so right now we have only two columns so it's going to the current row variable is going to hold these two values first then in the second time when the loop runs it is going to hold these two values then these two values then these two values like that will continue okay so the current row variable on uipath studio is very very important so remember this point okay we are going to use this variable in the later stage of this workflow okay so now i am in the for each row now which application that i have to work i need to work on this xyz bank bank application right now to work on this all you do first open this application and then go back to the studio so the application is there in the background if i do alt tab this application is there right okay so to work on this application there is an activity called if you type use application there is an activity called use application in browser drag and drop this activity okay and then the next thing what i should do hit on indicate application and then it is going to highlight automatically for you and you should see a green color if the green color is not coming try to reopen everything once again or reopen the application once again or reopen this your studio once again the green color should come that means it is working fine okay so click on this application just by doing a single click it is going to automatically pick the name of the application which is form any tailor it is going to pick where this exe file exists on your system it is going to have that path automatically for you and that's all okay that's all you have to do on this one and here on the property side there is one more important aspect i will let you know here if you click on open right for this activity here in the property panel there is something called open so there is an option here uh, never if not open if not open it will open it that is the meaning okay so if you highlight it tells you defines whether to open the target application before executing the activities activities inside this so if you highlight there is a gray box coming right if you read that so here i am going to select if not open it will open it getting it okay and once that is done what is our second task it should enter the data in cache in then it should enter the type the data in, into the second box and then it should hit on accept these are the three different actions it has to perform type in in the first one type in in the second one and click on the accept these are the three different actions that our automation should perform now to do this all i will do i will simply look for the activity called type in to okay type into activity so this type into activity is important so drag and drop the type into activity okay so once you drag and drop what you do hit on indicate in apps from any teller okay so this has come and here you need to select the target element you need to select the target element and then select the left side you have the cache in you select that and hit on confirm that's it okay so that way it understands hey this is the place where i should you know uh, this is the place where i should go and type the details so here they type this what to type what to type you need to mention it here so as i said the current row variable right in the for each loop i said you this is the for each loop this variable is very important so in the current row for this specific set uh, this specific uh, area which data i would like to enter i would like to enter this particular value which is there in cache one column cache one so to do this all i have to do go back to the studio and here i have to simply put a quote and inside the quote i have to write in the double quotes i have to write the column name column name is cache one ensure you are not making any spelling mistake and then you should type dot to string to convert whatever the data it is coming from the excel it should convert itself to dot to string after that you need to click on this triangle and hit on tab why tab is required tell me 
because if you go to the application if i'm typing any any value inside this one right and if i the moment i hit on tab it will go to the second box so that's why i am enabling tab okay let me delete this go back now to enable tab uh, all you have to do hit on this and hit, type t and the tab should come hit on this so but for some reason it's not working fine on my screen so i am going to first do a control x i'm going to remove what i have typed i'm doing a control x and then uh, i'm typing tab selecting this so what is happening like this it will come after this what you do right before this k plus tab copy paste the value that you have entered and hit on the plus so this is the right format okay so let me show you in a bigger screen um okay so this is what you should type current row your column name dot to string plus and then k tab this is the exact syntax that should you should type so that should actually happen after typing by hitting on tab but for some reason it's not happening it's erasing my data so that's why i'm doing it this way so this is clear okay so once this is clear it will empty the field every time it's typing click before typing it will do a single click that's all that's all about it okay so this is well done what is the second area that it should type in our application it should type into the on as check now to do that to enable that i will again do a copy paste of this application rather than doing everything from the beginning copy paste this activity click on this and then hit on indicate target on screen and i'm going to select the second box and i'm going to select the appropriate anchor okay and hit on confirm done and here instead of cash 1 row number the second column here is cash 2 right so let me type cash 2 here i'll go and type cash 2 this is the second column name simple that's all let's go back to the main workflow so there are two type into activities that we have entered one with the cash 1 pointing out to the first column one with the current row cash 2 pointing to the second column of the excel file so this way it is going to loop through the data and type the data from the rows and columns of the excel file after that the third activity what is the third thing it should go and click on this accept button right for that which activity i am am i going to use i am going to use the click activity drag and drop the click activity once again same way highlight on that and where you should click you should point it to that specific button and then you should select the anchor go to you know, move your mouse to the left and then hit on the anchor so this becomes a nearby indicator this is the anchor and nearby this is the target so it will understand accurately okay that's why we are doing this okay so once this is done uh, it is going to hit on the click single click it will do and done and again it will go to the loop it will it will pull the second value and again will type okay so our workflow is completely designed hopefully you have designed this now let's run it okay to run this what i will do i'll minimize everything and then let me hit on if there is any error we will try to fix that okay i have hit on run wait for few seconds the automation will start you can see it has started and now it is entering all the values do you see it is entering all the values from the rows it is looping through rows and columns in excel and entering the values getting it so this is how you can design the entire workflow hopefully this video should have added a lot of knowledge uh, and i also told you how to download this uh, to download this application i am providing the link of this application in the description of the video please do download this and do this exercise so once you complete the exercise please do let me know how was your experience in creating this automation um, right uh do let let me know at least if you have completed this activity or not if you have completed this mention i have completed this activity it will be very nice i'll be glad to read through those comments so thank you guys um you know before we um, before we go please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with ui path information and knowledge till then take care bye bye we are going to meet once again in our next video take care bye bye